How's it going guys, Hugsthor here, and we are back with Eden Star. So this game has received a new update, 0.4, I do believe it is. Since the last time I played, they added some new game features, even some new buildable objects, like, I think if I'm not mistaken, it's a laser wall? Yeah, I could be mistaken, I'm not sure if it's called a laser wall or not. Uh, even wall running, guys, they've even added wall running, and I, I don't even know how to do it because I just loaded up the game, but we're going to try it right here on this wall. Yes, I did. I actually ran on the wall. That is freaking sweet. Let's do that again. Oh, okay. So I kind of messed it up there, but that is freaking awesome. They've made a few other changes like upgrades and stuff like that you can do. Uh, let me see. How do I do this again? I, I completely forgot. It's been so long since I played this game. Materialize. Okay, so there's no upgrades. Here we go. Upgrades. Yes, they do have upgrades in the game now for, let's see, what is this thing called? your remote manipulation device which is your little arm device thing that you use for harvesting materials building even even doing a little bit of fighting with it well not a little bit you can actually do a lot of fighting with this thing but yes this thing is pretty awesome but you know of course we have our assault rifle and pistol which I really do like the assault rifle this thing is just so spot on it really is the only thing I'd really like to see at this point is different firing modes like a single shot three round burst fully automatic um, because right now, if I'm not mistaken, all you have is the three-round burst. I don't... Uh, yeah, you can't even do a single shot, but I'm sure they'll get to it. This is an early access game, so it's not that big of a deal. I really do like the gun, though. I, I even like the pistol. I'm just not really that big of a fan of pistols, but I do really like the way the guns work. So let's take a look at some of the different things here. Yeah, there's the pistol. I don't really care about making that. Regeneration. Yes, we can now repair all of our built structures and also they all have little tool tips now like you can see it says ramp HP 98% so what I would need to repair this is get that upgrade which is I don't know why I keep running over here I really don't I don't know why I run over there I act like that's the crafting area or something but we would need to get the materials that you see listed here not all three materials you see just one of these three and then of course this bottom one your base material and we would actually be able to craft ourselves up that regeneration modification for our little hand device here and we could actually repair the ramps, repair the walls, repair the foundations, even repair the Eden kit it looks like. Yeah, I didn't even realize my Eden kit was at 97%. That's not good because you really do need this thing. This is how you get power to your turrets and speaking of turrets, they even upgraded the turrets just a little bit. They made it to where the turrets wouldn't focus on dead enemies as much anymore and they would switch to new enemies if they lost sight of an enemy that they were currently targeting. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. Before the turrets were just a little bit, um, they were good. I liked them, they did their job, but sometimes they had a little bit of an issue and I'm really glad to see that they worked on them and I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing how they work this, this time around. And since it is almost nightfall, Maybe we'll even get a chance to take a look at some of the new enemies they've added to the game. I'm not sure, but I think, if I'm not mistaken, there's some sort of flying enemy. So, yeah. I'm really looking forward to that as well. At this point, I'm just going to kind of run around here, make sure that everything looks good, and wait for the bugs to attack. Now, if I'm not mistaken, they also say that they've lowered the amount of bugs that will come at you. If any of you've watched my previous videos, uh, specifically the bug attack or huge bug battle video, because I, I call them bugs because I don't even know their technical term. I should probably look it up and see what the freaking names are. But if you go back and watch that video, I think it was my third video, I could be wrong, you will see these guys will come, at, or used to come, hardcore, just droves and waves and it was pretty vicious it really was but it was a lot of fun at the same time so I'm kind of having some mixed reactions about how they turn down how many enemies come at you I actually had a lot of fun fighting off loads and loads of enemies it really was it was a lot of fun and also guys I've also decided I do want to give away a copy of this game to one of my subscribers my little way of saying thank you for being a subscriber uh, to qualify all you will need to do is of course be a subscriber like the video and comment down below and I will get back to everyone once I've made my final decision on who will uh, receive the free copy of this game but I really like this game guys and I, I think I want to support it more I want to see this game grow I really do so I've decided oh whoa whoa there it is holy crap 
Holy crap, I missed it. I was too busy talking and I missed it. Oh, that is bull crap. That is such freaking... Oh, maybe, maybe we'll see another one. If I'm lucky, we'll see another one. But yeah, guys, if you want a chance at winning this game, just be a subscriber. Comment down below. There you go, guys. And you will need Steam because I am going to be giving it away on Steam. So yeah, if you don't have Steam, set up a Steam account. It's real easy. No problemo. So where are they coming from? Come on, there's got to be more. I want to see these freaking dudes from the sky. This is bullcrap. This is bullcrap. Now, how okay, I don't have much ammo either. I probably should go ahead. And why do I keep coming over here? I don't even know. I don't even know. But we need to craft up some more ammo for our rifle here. Let's go ahead and use the ceruleum. That'll be fine. I don't really care. Three clips should be enough. And how much did that give me? 180 plus the 21. Okay, that, that, that might be enough. I don't really know. We also have our melee attacks and stuff like that. We can, of course, use our little manipulation device here to throw them around and toss them into each other. So we should be okay. That should be just fine. Look at this rifle. Isn't that sexy? That sucker is bad. Now, I know in the future, they're um, supposed to give us modifications for the weapons, like the assault rifle and the pistol, where we could actually modify them, make them a little bit better, uh, more custom to what we want to do with them. I'm really looking forward to that. I'm really hoping they get on that soon. Um, that's one of the main reasons I want to support this game, guys, and I want to give away a free copy of this game because I want to see this game grow. I really do. I know they have future plans for multiplayer and so many different things like that. I can't wait. I really can't. All right, so I'm just going to gather up some materials here because it is almost daybreak, and I was looking over the uh, patch notes on this, this new update, 0 0.4, and they've also shortened the nights and increased the length of the day in this game and kind of adjusted, I guess, uh, the way day and night looks in this game as well. Which, you know, I'm, I'm very happy to see that. The, the nighttime was not my favorite part of the game. I mean, it kind of was because that's when you get to do a lot of your battling and the bugs come after you. But it, it really didn't leave enough time to go too far away from your base here. Like, if you wanted to go to the other side of the map, you had to leave your base and leave it unprotected unfortunately that was kind of conflicting because you really didn't have much time you only had like i think 10 minutes of daylight so you had 10 minutes to get over there and get back and it really wasn't enough time it truly wasn't i'm gonna gather up some resources bottom line we're gonna try to build up some more stuff we're gonna try to make some of these upgrades happen check out some of these damn enemies if i get a chance and don't for don't forget to look up and look for them because apparently yeah i completely missed it and that was just horrible I'm glad I got the turrets though, because if, if it wasn't for the turrets, I probably would have, like, not even paid attention and he would have destroyed my freaking Eden kit over there. And I would have been in real trouble because the Eden kit's a little bit of a pain in the ass to, to build. You, you need some resources that you get from the hives, which is where the bugs live. And sometimes that can be a little bit difficult to go and get the tessalinium that you require for building the Eden kit. So, yeah, I didn't want to go through that. So it's a good thing I did have the little turrets up there doing their job, being cool as hell. Okay, so now we have enough tinnel. We're going to go ahead and we're going to craft up this new regeneration modification for our remote manipulation device. And yes, we're going to use that. And what else do we, do we want to use the tessalinium, the ceruleum, or the protonite? Let's use the protonite. Let's just go ahead and use the protonite. I think that'll be the best way to go. Or do we need... Wait, I think we have to use all three of these. We do. I was wrong earlier, guys. It is all three of these. The only one you get to choose is this one down here, I'm guessing, because I'm not able to highlight these. I don't know. Maybe that's changed since the last time I played. I don't remember. It's been too long. But yes, let's go ahead and make that. And I did have the Gauss Cannon. I was playing around with it. They've also made some upgrades and stuff like that for it and the gauss cannon is pretty awesome it really is i really like the gauss cannon especially when a bunch of bugs get real close or, or say you're assaulting their little hive you could pull out the gauss cannon and do some serious damage to the little bastards let's see where do we put this not there here we go here's the regeneration let's go ahead and equip that and what kind of modifications can we get for this what kind of upgrades repair time reduction awesome Repair cost reduction, range increase, area repairing, really like an area effect repairing. That is nice. I like that. And an increased range for the AOE repair. That is awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with the repairs because it is going to be dark in about six and a half minutes. Now, how do I do this? How do I do this? 
Okay, so that's how I tear it down. That's how I tear it down. That's nice. I like that. Just like anything else, I can just tear it down. Okay, now how do I repair it? Let's see. Oh, E. Okay, there we go. It's E. Okay, see, anybody else is trying to figure it out? It's E. Yeah. Let's see. Um, There's a few of these foundations down here. They're not in very good shape, but they're not bad enough. I'm not going to worry about them. I'm not going to waste the resources at this point. I'll let them get broke down a little bit more. I just want to make sure that mainly my walls and my reinforced cubes and stuff like that that I have put around, I just want to make sure all this stuff is repaired just to make sure the bugs aren't going to get in. Okay, I didn't mean to climb up that. I, I guess I was too close when I jumped and he, he decided he wanted to climb it. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we, we need to repair that. That's not good. And that's going to do it. Alright, so we even have a little bit of time left over, so I really like the increase to the daylight. I really do. It gives you a lot more time to play around, get stuff done, and look at that fortress. It looks so good in this brighter light in the game now. For some reason, it does seem a lot brighter. I think they did brighten it up in the daylight. It looks really good. I like it. Matter of fact, I'm going to get a screenshot of that because that is beautiful. That is just fucking awesome. It really is. I want to do something with this too, but I don't know if I have enough resources or if I'd have to go out and just craft up a bunch. And I keep running to the freaking Eden kit. I don't know why. I'm so used to having to go to something to craft up crap. And really you do have to be like in the general area of this to craft up stuff. So that's the reason I think I keep running to it. But yeah, it's, it's a bad habit. It really is. I need to quit doing that. Okay, so it looks like we do have some action. What's going on here? Oh crap, it's one of the flying enemies! That dude looks wicked crazy. I mean, it's kind of hard to see him. Let me turn on my light. Maybe the next one that comes, we can actually get a good look at him. But that dude looked wicked. He had like three little arms. So, yeah, that was pretty cool. I like that. He didn't seem very intelligent, though, because he just kind of flew in and got his ass whooped by my turret. So, I, I don't know how capable the flying enemies are at actually killing or destroying, because they haven't had a chance, frankly. My turrets have been just whooping that ass, so good job, boys. Good job. You all get promotions. Every one of you. So this is what I've got so far, and it ain't really shit. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think, I don't really care for this. I don't really care for this. I want to build it up. That's what I want to do. I want to go ahead and build it up. I want ramps to go up and, and figure something else out. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, so it does say Eden Kid is in danger. Let's, oh, there it is. There's a couple of flying things right there. There's three of them. What do they do? I, I just want to see if we can... Oh, my turrets keep killing them. It's horrible. I may have to take down a couple of my turrets just to give the, the flying creatures a chance here because I'm not even seeing them in action. I want to see what they can do. I really do. Oh, but you know, I'm not going to take my turrets down. That is just stupid. I'm not doing it. What if I get attacked while I'm not paying attention and my Eden kit gets destroyed? So, no, I'm not going to do it. Oh, it does look like we are under attack. Okay, so one of them has made it in. Let's just see how well the turrets handle this. Turrets seem to be doing a pretty good job so far. I will go ahead and help because these guys are attacking my freaking Eden kit. I can't have that. You can't attack the Eden kit, guys. And was there... I don't even freaking know. I keep missing it. I really do. I'm sucky. I really suck at this. I'm trying to show off the new dudes, but no, it's not happening, guys. I mean, we've got to see them, but they're really not able to do much because of my turrets. My turrets are just whooping that ass, unfortunately, and I really like that. I do. I'm not going to tear my turrets down. I thought about it, but no, it's not happening. They're the enemy. They deserve to freaking die. That's the way it goes. I'm not going to hinder myself or handicap myself just to make things easier for the freaking enemy so yeah they better step it up a notch once I add a few more turrets to this place because I can add some more this place is gonna be impregnable I mean it's gonna be impenetrable it's gonna be like a Duramax condom you're not gonna get through that sucker so yeah or Trojan man whichever you prefer you know whatever don't care but you get the freaking reference, right? Exactly. So what the hell do I have going here? I don't even know. I have no freaking clue what I'm building here. I honestly don't. So that's what I have so far, though. And I do plan on it eventually going up a little bit higher and maybe making a second story up here with um, some added cool shit, but I have no idea. I'm not that creative. So this is what I've got so far, guys. 
All right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Till next time, go ahead and hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Think about subscribing if you hadn't already. It really helps out, and I really appreciate it. Later, guys.